Five best renewable energy sources. Five. Solar. So what better way to start off a list than with one of the most well-known uses of renewable energy known to mankind, solar energy. While installing solar panels onto the roof of your home can be expensive, this is a way more efficient way of powering your home. Photovoltaic, or PV, solar power is harnessing the sun's energy to produce electricity. One of the fastest growing energy sources, new technologies are developing at a rapid pace. Despite what we said earlier about how it can be a slightly more expensive source of energy, in recent years, solar cells are becoming more efficient, affordable, transportable, and even flexible, allowing for easy installation. Since its early conception up until now, PV has mainly been used to power small and medium-sized applications, ranging from things such as calculators, radios, watches, as well as powering off-grid homes through a photovoltaic array. All this came about thanks to the 1973 oil crisis. It's because of this crisis that it stimulated a rapid rise in the production of PV during the 1970s to the early 1980s. This trend continued all due to the steadily declining oil prices during the early 1980s. Despite this, however, it would eventually lead to a reduction in funding for photovoltaic R&D as well as the inevitable discontinuation tax credits that are associated with the Energy Tax Act of 1978. Needless to say, it was a mess. This meant that factors moderated growth to around 15% each year for the next 12 years starting from 1984 up until 1996. However, since the mid-1990s, the leadership of the PV sector changed hands as it was shifted from the US to Germany and Japan. In the years 1992 through to 1994, Japan wasted no time and increased the R&D sector funding and introduced a subsidy program as a way to encourage people to install residential PV systems. As the years went on and on, these PV systems have gotten more and more advanced and more and more affordable as solar installations have started to become a thing of the norm in residential areas over the last decade. Needless to say, this is probably the best option out there when it comes to renewable energy powering your home. 4. Wind Next to solar energy, wind energy is another popular method when it comes to renewable energy as it's a conversion of wind energy by wind turbines into a useful form, such as electricity or mechanical energy. How this energy is produced is through large wind farms that are installed on vast areas of land such as agricultural land or even grazing areas, as these areas tend to have the lowest environmental impact of all energy sources. The principal application of wind power today is to simply generate energy and really nothing beyond that. That being said, however, even though it doesn't serve a purpose beyond producing electricity in this day and age, it has been noted that wind has been converted into mechanical energy for pumping water or grinding grains. 3. Hydroelectricity Yet another natural energy source that's popular, however, it doesn't get nearly as much attention as solar energy or wind energy. Basically, hydroelectricity is electricity generated by hydropower, i.e. the production of power through the use of the gravitational force of falling or flowing water. As we've just said, despite solar and wind energy being popular forms of renewable energy, hydroelectricity is actually the most widely used form of renewable energy. How it works is when a hydroelectric complex is constructed, the project produces no direct waste whatsoever. Small-scale hydro or micro-hydro power has been an increasingly popular alternative energy source, especially in remote areas where other power sources are not viable. These smaller-scaled hydro-powered systems have been installed in many smaller beds of water such as rivers and streams with little to no environmental effect and no effect on the wildlife that inhabits the areas surrounding them, both on land and water, so that means that it won't affect fish migration in the slightest. Most small-scale hydropower systems make no use of a dam or major water diversion, 
but rather use water wheels to generate energy. Hydroelectric power systems help make up a massive 19% of the entire world's electricity, which is up a massive 16% from 2003. But when compared to natural renewable energy sources, it actually accounts for a massive 63% of it. While many hydroelectric projects supply public electricity networks, some are created to serve specific industrial enterprises. 2. Radiant Energy Good old Nikola Tesla. Where would the world be without him? Radiant energy is essentially what regular, plain old electricity is. It does the same as electricity and performs the same as electricity. However, it can do everything electricity can do, but at less than 1% of the cost, aka this is diet electricity. Despite its similarities, however, it doesn't behave the same way as electricity does. This, however, isn't a negative. It's just that it caused a lot of confusion and misunderstanding among the scientific community's understanding of how radiant energy works. The Metherneitha community in Switzerland currently has five or six working models of fuelless, self-running devices that tap this energy. But this isn't something that's only being harnessed now. Some of the greatest inventors and innovators of science have all attempted and even succeeded in using radiant energy with their projects. To put it into perspective, Nikola Tesla's magnifying transmitter, T. Henry Moray's radiant energy device, Edwin Gray's EMA motor, and Paul Bauman's Testatica machine all run off of radiant energy. This natural energy form can be gathered directly from the environment or extracted from ordinary electricity by the method called fractionation. Going back to Nikola Tesla for a brief second, did you know that he invented the earliest concept of the wireless telephones that were completely based on radiant energy? How it worked was that the device used transmitters and receivers whose resonances were tuned to the same frequency, allowing communication between the two people on call. Obviously, wireless mobiles didn't become a thing available to the public until the late 1970s to early 1980s. But the concept was there, and it's all thanks to radiant energy. In 1916, he recounted an experiment he had done in 1896. He recalled that whenever he received the effects of a transmitter, one of the simplest ways to detect the wireless transmissions was to apply a magnetic field to currents generated in a conductor, and when he did so, the low frequency gave audible notes. Needless to say, without radiant energy, wireless systems and communication systems certainly wouldn't be as we know them to be in this day and age. 1. Biomass also known appropriately as bioenergy, biomass is an energy that has been derived from organic matter for thousands of years, ever since people started burning wood in order to keep warm or to cook food. From its discovery up until now, wood is still our largest biomass energy to this very day. Wood and trees aren't the only sources of biomass on our planet, as other sources of biomass that we use include the likes of other plants and residues from forestry and agricultural regions, aka any region that is filled with organic components. By burning things such as trees and other organic matter, you'd think that it'd be doing a lot of damage to our Earth's atmosphere. Well, it does and it doesn't. The net emission of carbon dioxide will be zero just so long as plants continue to be replenished for biomass energy purposes. And that's our list. Did we leave anything out that you know about? Make sure to note it down in the comments section below. Please remember to subscribe and tap the bell button so you'll be notified when new videos are uploaded. Thanks for watching.